you need to brand yourself. And one of the important elements of this is an elevator pitch. So I wanted to ask, how many of you know what an elevator pitch is? If you can show your hands. Okay, a decent amount. How many of you actually have and practice an elevator pitch? Okay, a lot fewer hands. How many of you would be willing to come up here and give your elevator pitch in front of this group? Okay, so that shows you I saw no hands there. But that's a problem because you need to be able to pitch yourself in any situation. You are branding yourself and as a realtor, your company is you. So in terms of an elevator pitch, I'm gonna quickly go through the elements. The first thing is don't memorize it. You want something that you can use no matter what the situation is. If you're dropping your kids off at a pizza party, if you're at a networking event, if friends introduce you to somebody. So something that is fluid and no matter what the situation is, you can mold it to that situation. The second thing is make it personal. Let's face it, people don't like to hear you talk about yourself nonstop. What do they want? They want to engage with you. They want you to ask them questions. And I think in your business, you have a really easy way to make it personal for the people that you're talking to. There's a simple question. So where do you live? How long have you lived there? You get the people talking about themselves. And then the next thing is to tell a personal story. There is a saying, facts tell, stories sell. People remember the stories that you tell them. So maybe it's, oh, you live in Wynwood? I have a client, just sold, them a house, or just sold their house for $1.2 million. And the interesting thing is, five years ago, they just bought it for $800,000. So what are the stories that you can tell? that can make you relate to that person. Maybe it's that you have kids in the same school district, but somehow to tell a personal story so that you're engaging with that person. The next thing is what are you selling that they need? So what you're selling is the opportunity to make money. So you need to hit home on what can you provide these people that they need. If they're buying, maybe it's, well, you're not gonna rent anymore, and so you're gonna save that money. It's a great seller's market right now. I could help you potentially make money on your home. So what are you selling that they need? And the most important thing, what are you uniquely qualified to do that will help this person? So maybe it is, you know what? I dominate the Wynwood area. My company, we have the most sales in that area. Or I have clients in that area that are looking for homes right now. Maybe I can help you because I have those clients. Or maybe you're a marketing maven. So what is it that you are uniquely qualified to do that separates you from everybody else in this room? And you need to make sure that you're pitching that. And the final thing is the close or the ask. How are you going to make that sale? Again, there are soft closes, there are hard closes, but something that's really easy to do would be to say to somebody, you know what, let me get your card and follow up with you. It doesn't hurt to run the numbers. Maybe I'll, I can run the numbers on your house and see what it might be worth. Maybe you're not ready to sell right now, but maybe in five years you may be. So let's start that conversation. And that's somebody who may become a client five years down the road.